Well, I got on. So some of you guys may know I'm trying to change my content while I'm over in Thailand. Like, not too much that I'm not myself anymore. But, so I'm just more brand friendly and more, you know, people friendly and not so much of a dick. <laughs> So to do this, I'm trying to make vlogs and everything in Thailand, so the support that you guys give me is very, very, um, um, uh, nice, is, is the word I'm trying to find. And by pure luck, this morning, I was bitten by a spider. I know that sounds strange. By pure luck, I was bitten by a spider. But wait till the idea that I have for it, and you will see why it's so fucking lucky. So if you guys can see that lump on my arm, like, well, I'll put an arrow to it now. It literally looks like I've broken my arm, like there's a massive lump sticking out of it. Yeah, look, you can see it better from that angle, look. It's fucked. Thailand spiders, mate, they fuck you. They actually do. So the plan is, I'm gonna jump into the pool a couple of times and say that like, I, I need, I, I don't know, I'm filming something for my photography or some shit. And I'm gonna just start screaming and like start fucking acting as if I've broken my arm because Abby's still asleep and she hasn't seen this yet. So it will work beautifully. Cross cross fingers. Abby will think I've broken my arm, start crying and shit, screaming, and, and hopefully I get a decent reaction out of it. That's the plan. Let's see what happens. Also, vlog day three. Welcome. <laughs> Yo, Wagwan Simba. So I also bring up my old camera to Thailand. So I'm gonna try and sneakily position this somewhere in this living room while I'm outside and then just make sure Abby's downstairs when I record it so then I can get her like initial reaction and her hopefully running out that front door to save me. Just there. <coughs> what are you doing? Just chilling on my phone, I haven't been on that all morning. No. Me too. I want to go get some pictures for Instagram. Oh, go on then. Oh, go on then. Go on, oh, go on then. then. Go on then. Love you. Love you. Right, so I've set up the camera basically in front of Abby. She didn't notice because she's thick as shit and I love it. So I've basically just told her that I'm going out to take a couple of pictures for Instagram. So I'm going to jump in a few times so it doesn't sound too bait from inside because she's literally just there. There. <laughs> <laughs> if this all goes to plan, Abby won't see this camera and she won't see that camera and she'll completely not clock on. This is literally what Abby looks like right now. Good editing footage. Mike Fox, what a G. as well. I hope that's oh, all right. Shit. Gutted. Can you see that? A little she bit. cracked oh, her shit. phone. That's oh, gutted. Oh, I love you, Ab. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Abby, how do you feel? Sad because now my phone's cracked and I've got to pay like, how much is it in Thai money? Oh, it's, well, it'd say it was English money, wouldn't it? It'd be like three, yeah. 200 pound. Yeah. Gutted, gutted, gutted. So one thing that I realised I haven't done since I've been in Thailand is any drone footage. So I'm gonna get the drone out. Like flying itself, like what the fuck? The fuck, like the connection's so bad. Like I reckon it's actually. Look, have you look at the fucking. Oh shit! Yeah, what the fuck? My drone was like bugging out so hard. It was bugging out so hard. My fucking heart. 
two and a half grand. Jesus. I literally it flew over there and it was like landing. I was like, no, you're not. What the fuck? It's got a mind of its own. Fucking scary, man. So the entire time we've been staying in this villa, there's been random people just walking in and out, like the entire time. I've I've never been to an Airbnb that's had so many people just in and out, and it's just starting to get on my nerves. It's like we have no privacy or anything, and there's just people everywhere. There's one guy there. I know they're keeping all like the facilities and everything clean and like trimming the grass and shit But when you book like an Airbnb or when you book a hotel room There is such thing as privacy and we've told the guy that owns this place every single day Look we want some privacy we need to film we need to record stuff We need to take pictures we need to do all of this and it, there's people here every day and it's, it's annoying Yo comment down below if you think I should go to hospital for that fucking bite or not because that looks gnarly it looks so bad. Chucked Abby into the deep end and I'm making her record and edit her own video all by herself. Aww. Getting stressed. Why are you still here? I know, I'm gonna Leave ask Leave us alone. I don't get why people just aren't comfortable in their own skin. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I never see Abby I'm with makeup green. on anymore. Yeah, I never wear makeup. Like, I don't know, just be comfortable with who you are, first rule of the world. Fact. So it's my birthday on the 25th of September. Feel free to donate a pound to my Patreon. If all of you guys do that, I'll have a very good birthday. <laughs> Aww. Mummy. Aww. Abby's face Mommy. telling my mum. Aww. Where did the stairs actually go? Where? Where? They rotate. Do they rotate, mate? Oh, yeah, I swear Bread Talk's a Zayn Malik song, isn't it? Bread Talk. Bread, bread? Bread Talk. Bread. I don't remember. <laughs> You actually thought it was, for fuck's sake. So leave a message at the tone. Oh my god. Can I touch you? Oh my god. Oh my god. So as some of you guys may know, we're actually out here semi-permanently, so we need to find a decent place to stay in for more than like three or four days, and that isn't, fuck so, and that isn't like a hotel or anything. So we're currently viewing some condos, which are basically apartments, there's, there's no difference. What the fuck are you doing? Sorry, I have a, I have a problem with my arm. What happened here? Oh, there's a 36 square. Is this the small room then? Yeah. This is the one bedroom, so it's like, right? This is the... the 36 square meter? Not really more though. Yeah, but this is usually a sofa. This is the 36 square meter. 36, wait, is this the yeah. smallest? Ah, uh, this yeah. is the middle. Middle one. The middle one. The middle one bed. Yeah. The washing machine's on the balcony. Why is the washing machine on the balcony? So this place is it's quite small. It's got like a bed, a living room thing, and then you've got like the kitchen here. And then there's a washing machine outside, bathroom. This is 15,000 baht a month, which is about 330, 340 pounds. If that gives you kind of a rough estimate of what property prices are like over here, that's like 340 pounds for a one bedroom apartment, which is insane. Oh my. Proper bathroom. Oh. Bathroom, shower, actual table, living room. TV's a bit diddy, but oh well. Proper kitchen. You got another little balcony here. Oh fuck! I thought it was open. Um. Oh. Okay. That's quite a nice view, actually. It's just a pond. And then like TV. Oh, is this a second no. bedroom? Oh no way! So it's two bedroom. So I'll turn this into an office if I had it. This would be like an office. Why would I be crazy? <laughs> and the second bedroom is here. We have another bathroom. So this is like the master bedroom. This is where I'd sleep. You like this room? Yeah. Good, good. Chester, you like this room? Ah. Oh. Brilliant, brilliant. That's that's a yes. So this one's twenty five thousand baht a month, which works out to be <laughs> fuck's sake, Chester. <laughs> well, how much is twenty five thousand a month? That's about six hundred pounds. So six hundred pounds of that. That's not bad at all. That's really not actually that bad. It's well, going to what is going on? I'm so confused. So it's against their policy to record in the gym and the swimming pool before you move in because of like 
people's, uh, I, don't know, I, I don't really know. But me and Abby and Chester and Kat and Simba, like everyone that I'm here with, really likes the places here. We're thinking like about getting one each. But I mean, if you're spending 500, 600 pound a month for a flat, a swimming pool, a gym and everything, that's dirt cheap. That's so, so cheap. This actually hurts a lot. <laughs> Oh. Flip flop hills. <laughs> so just one a day. Okay. So just uh, have one. Oh, okay. So this just take and go. One, two. Okay. Okay. So we went to the pharmacy, which like over here is like the cheap doctors. They basically prescribe you what the fuck they want. They, they barely even look at you and then prescribe you some weird shit. So I went there about my spider bite thing, which like if you look at it now is fucking huge. Like it's like the size of a, like, a small football. It's like half the size of my face. It's crazy. So I went into the uh, pharmacy and they prescribed me a MSD tablet, um, which is meant to be used after you have an operation. It's like a really, really strong painkiller, like a paracetamol on steroids. Like who just hands over a drug that fucking powerful without actually looking at you? She also gave me this um, this gel to put on my swelling to make it go down, but I mean, look at the size of that shit. Fucking hell. So I'm looking into this on the internet, like before I take it because I don't want to die and like be fucked up. And it basically says, that has not been approved by the FDA for the US market because it's unsafe. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Acute and chronic treatment of the signs and symptoms of astriolophologist and rheumatoid arthritis. I don't have fucking arthritis. Why did she give you that? Management of ankylosing spontaneous. Relief of chronic musculoskeletal pain. Relief of acute pain to treat acute gutri arthritis. Like, she's giving me an arthritis pill. So basically, I got prescribed a drug that hasn't been FDA approved, isn't released in Europe and America, and is for arthritis. And I've got a spider bite. Oh, oh, okay then, Thailand. What's going on here then? Can we all just take a moment to think about what the fuck has happened in today's vlog? One, prank tabby. Two, house apartment shopping. Three, getting prescribed illegal drugs. I mean, I mean, Casey Neistat doesn't do this fucked up shit every day. Fuck. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna leave this vlog there, guys, because I'm absolutely knackered and I still need to edit this video so it can come out tonight, UK time. I just took that painkiller that's meant for fucking chronological back pain and it's like knocked me out and I feel like really out of it. Like it's a really, really strong painkiller and I feel a bit fucked up. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and edit this video as best as I can to try and get it out tonight for you guys. If this is out tonight on the 20th of September, Make sure you drop this a like now and comment well done because fucking hell it would have been a mission if I've, done, if I've managed to do that. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Remember to subscribe and stay tuned because tomorrow I'm moving into my new flat. And you guys might want to watch that, I'm not sure. I'll give you a proper flat tour and everything as well. It'll be pretty lit. So make sure you stay notified for that. What else do I have to say? Follow my photography Instagram account. Link's here.